Do you want to get fast, easy, and beautiful bouncy curls in literally five minutes? If you do, follow this routine. I just finished showering, so I'm all ready. My hair is wet and ready to go. I will go ahead and take it out, looking great. Make sure your hair is wet, but not necessarily dripping. So just squeeze out the excess water and make sure it's like this. Like you don't see any water dripping out of my hair. It's just damp. For this tutorial, we're literally just gonna use a conditioner, a mousse, and a gel. So you can use all three of these products or you can just use what you have honestly. It doesn't need to be the exact products that I'm using, but if you are curious what I use, I can link them down below. If you at all feel like your hair has lost some moisture, you can always take a little spray bottle or just like dunk your hair a little bit in the sink and just wet it. I like to just do this and just kind of spray a little extra water in my hair just so that it's not drying because sometimes I'll get these little frizzy dry pieces. So I'm going to take some conditioner. It's about this much and I'm gonna rub it between my hands and then just apply it kind of generously all over my hair like this. Make sure you get kind of like the middle to the bottom of your hair. Don't get it all up in your roots or else it'll make your hair really oily really fast. So just spread that through, kind of finger comb it. And now we can comb. I like to part my hair just sort of where the middle is. I take my comb, you can use any comb you want to for this, but I just take the comb and I start from bottom and I like to work my way up to the top part of my head. Yeah, you don't wanna go from top and just pull down. I like to just work in bits like this and then just work my way up to the top of my head. Now I can move on to the second side. So I'm gonna start again, like I said, from the bottom and work my way up toward the top of my head. And it's okay if your shirt gets wet. I just wear like a normal t-shirt when I do this. I actually kind of like to take my fingers and just loosen up the curls a little bit. Sometimes they get a little stuck to my head. So I just like to kind of lift my roots a little bit more. So now we're gonna move on to the mousse and I'm just gonna do like a few little squirts like that. Rub this between my hands. I actually run it through my hair like this. And then I'm actually going to, if you can see this, scrunch my hair, do you hear that? That is the sign that your hair is wet enough. So if it isn't wet enough, you might want to throw a little more water on or a little more product too. Don't squeeze too hard. Just do this a few times all around your head. And you can see those curls actually starting to form a little bit more, which is really nice. Lastly, we're going to be using some gel and I'm just going to take a little dollop. Also, yes, your hands get a little hairy. It's fine. It's just part of the process. It's not gross. It's just hair. But I just take a little bit like that. Rub that between my hands and pretty much do the same thing I did with the mousse, but I just lay this one kind of over my hair more so than combing it through my hair. I like to do this and kind of hold my hair and bring it down like that and then squish up. And you can still hear that nice moisturizing wet sound. Scratch. Perfect. Now for these next couple of parts, they are optional. I just want to make that clear. You don't have to do this. You could just let your hair air dry and be fine. However, for me personally, my hair takes so long to dry. It drives me crazy. So I actually like to do these two steps to kind of cut down on my drying time. So I'm going to be using a towel in this next part. However, please make sure if you're using a towel that it is the correct type of towel to use on curly hair. Just please don't use a normal towel like a bath towel because you're not going to get the results that you want. It's going to make your hair frizzy. I'm going to be using my towel from Tea Owls, this amazing brand that was kind enough to give me the their products to try. Thank you so much, T Owls. I am going to tip my hair over like this and I'm going to spread it out like this, just flat. And then I grab the bottom of my hair and scrunch and just lightly squeeze my hair just enough so that I can get a little bit of that water out. So you can actually see it on the towel like this. I do this for maybe like two minutes, just going around lightly squishing spots of my hair that feel really wet still. We're just trying to get excess moisture out before we dry our hair with a diffuser. Look at all of this 
water that's coming out of my hair that I won't have to just stand and dry out of my hair. Okay, so I'm feeling good about where my curls are at the moment. Here's what they look like right now. Now for this next part, I'm going to be using a diffuser. This is what mine looks like. I like to use the Dyson. However, don't use a normal blow dryer for this. Make sure that it has a diffuser attachment on it. If you just use a normal blow dryer like this side, it would just frizz up your hair like I said before with the towel. I didn't want you to have to listen to the loud dryer sound, but essentially what I'm doing is I'm turning my diffuser to the highest heat and speed settings and first focusing on the roots of my hair and then turning the heat down a little bit and drying the middle to bottom sections. Also, let me know if you want a more in-depth tutorial on diffusing and I'd be more than happy to show you. Okay, so my hair is feeling pretty dry now, about like 95% dry, I would say. I can feel a little bit of moisture, but like honestly barely any. It just looks more wet than it actually is. So now I'm going to be taking a little bit of oil. I'll also put this down in the description below if you guys want to know what kind I'm using. I'm going to be taking a little bit. Oh, that was way too much. So I put some of that back because I poured out way too much, but basically you just want to coat your hands in a little bit of oil like this. And then I kind of just start to scrunch out the cast that I can feel in my hair. And I try not to focus on just one spot. I try to just scrunch all over so that the oil isn't just getting in one area of my hair. You can flip sides as well and just start to kind of scrunch out that cast. Let those curls really get pulled upward and get super curly. It smells so good, this oil that I use, and also just makes my hair look so shiny and makes my curls just feel so finished and polished. Look at how voluminous these curls are now and just how springy and beautiful they are. Like, look at the amount of volume at this point. That is just so beautiful. I just love it. Like, it's amazing what only four products can do for your hair. Seriously. I'll show you guys from the back as well so you can see the full hair. Look at the bounce and the curl. So, so pretty. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole tutorial. It's so easy and honestly it does not take that long at all. I think that took me like 30 minutes max to do the whole process. The styling routine, less than five minutes. If you're interested in a more in-depth curly hair routine, I have a video right here that you can watch. It goes into way more detail. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see when it comes to curly hair. I love making videos about it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!